I'll never be a Kali for Elikus if I remain in the realm of Midas. There was a debate about this. I don't know how familiar you are, but it's a fa fascinating piece of history. Reb Aaron Halevi of Strashella and the Mittler Rebbe had a very big debate. Reb Aaron Halevi of Strashella writes that the main thing in Yiddishkeit is his spilus. Emotions, emotions, emotions. You looked at him davening, he would dance and jump and scream and make with his hands. And he was actually a holy Jew. He wasn't fake. I'm not talking about a fake uh, shtick. And the Mittler Rebbe used to say, Lo yach ksil kiim galos liba. The Nefesh Bahamas loves all these emotions. <laughs> and he held, he held that emotions are beautiful, but there's a certain fakeness in them. And when it comes to Alekus, it becomes very delusional. Even not because the person is not, the person may be holy. The person may actually be holy. But as he says, there's an achiza. A lot of dishonesty could come from it. Even if not by the person himself, but by other people who are at a later stage in the person's life. Why? Because the paradigm of emotions is God. I need you to accommodate me. I need you to speak to my heart. Do whatever it takes, but just get me excited. Lord, get me high. Lord, get me high. What's the problem with that statement that was said by somebody? What's the problem with this? What do you feel when you hear this? Lord, get me high. The answer is clipper. <laughs> There's something very profoundly missing here. I'm never a, I don't want to be a Kaylee for a Lekus. I want a Lekus to be a Kaylee for me. <laughs> I want to use God. I want to use truth. I need to live an inspired life. God, can you help me? Oh, great. You helped me. The Mittler Rebbe said, learn Chassidus. Understand, 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 understand. Not in a way of understanding where you're a detached robot. No. Moichin is bittel. Moichin is achdos. Moichin is ask not how the Lord can get you high. Ask what's the truth of Elikus. Understand vos is Elikus, vos is Ein Soif. Of course, as much as I can. As much as I can. In Moichin, I'm searching for one thing. For the emes, for the pnimius, for the atzmius. And that's why real Moichen, he said, I'm not the Bechein. It's ask not how it relates to me. I'm asking another question. How do I relate to it? Or even deeper, I'm not even asking about me. I I'm trying to strip myself from the eye and touch the core of the idea. And as he said earlier, when you touch the core, it's not an idea anymore. It's not an idea. Midas, the idea has to come down into relevance. And in real Moichen, I'm looking for that which is even beyond the idea. I don't even want the idea. It's true, Moichen without Midas, yeah, is something fundamentally wrong because we come back to a place of emotion. We come back. But it's not that we don't want Midas. We don't want it should be about Midas. You understand the difference? We want Midas. Of course we want Midas. Without Midas, you have a computer. Computer knows much more than I. Google knows much more. You want Midas, but you want the Midas should be a chalik of the Moichen. It's not about the Midas. Of course there's Ava Vayira. The Ava Vayira in Moichen is much deeper. It's an Ava Vayira of Etzem. It's not an Ava Vayira of Hispilus. It's an Ava Vayira of Oneness. It's not an Ava Vayira of my experience of you. So I want to finish with the story. The story is a very, very deep story, extremely profound, and it relates very much to this. And I'll explain to you why the Mittler Rebbe disagreed with Rabbi Aaron Halevi of Strashella. He used to say, and he was a holy Jew. 
Some of you won't relate to the story, which is also fine. The Baron Alevi of Strachel, I told you, became a Rebbe. He was very charismatic, extremely charismatic. And uh, because he was so charismatic, he had a big following. And he was a very big man. He was a holy, holy Jew. He was not, uh, he was not a politician. He was a big man. And there was a big chassid of the Balatanya. His name was Reb Isaac Hummeler. Reb Yitzchak Isaac Epstein. He was the Rav of Hummel. He used to finish Shas every year. He was a very, very big gon, big mind. He has Svarim, Chan Ariel, Shnei HaMa'iris, Maimra Shiflis, Basim. He was the Rav of a big city, of a big community. Hummel, Gomil, as the Russians say, Gomil. Reb Yitzchak Isaac Epstein. So he wanted to go see the Reb Anas Trasheller. So he went. He went Shabbos. Rabbi Strashella said Chsidis. He said a mimer. He finished, started to sing. In the middle of the song, he got inspired and he jumped up on the table to dance. He was dancing and dancing and it was, it was a sight. And people were very inspired. In the middle, something happened. Okay. And I'm going to try to explain it. I'm going to try to explain it. If you understand, you understand. If not, uh, okay. I understand if you don't understand. You know, sometimes you're sitting maybe by a Fabrengen or by a meal, a Shabbos meal, or by an event, and people are singing a song, and, and they're into it. And then the song finishes, and the inspiration is gone. They're done. They sang it already two, three, four, five times. But nobody wants to admit to themselves that they're not inspired anymore. So they do this song once more, but you could sense that this time it's devoid of real uh, emotion. It's like a shell without anything inside. They're singing the song, they're going through the motions, trying to convince themselves that they're still inspired, but really the battery is dead. They're just doing it because nobody wants to admit that two minutes ago we were dancing and we thought we touched heaven and now it's all over. <laughs> it's gone, it's dead, I'm not interested. I'm ready for my cholent. They're not ready to admit this. So what do we do? We do the song again, but it's not the same. So Rabbi Isaac saw that Rabbi Adon Alevi of Strashella was on top of the table dancing. And then he finished the song and he continued dancing. But he saw that when he started the song over again to continue dancing, the inspiration that was there a few moments before was gone. And he just continued the dance. You know, I don't want to say continue the show, but he continued the dance. And Rabbi Isaac looked at him and he called him by his first name as he used to do in the old, in the earlier days. And he said these words, Adela, Adela, gay Arab von Tisch. Adela, Adela, get down from the table. <laughs> and he ran because the Hasid of Baron Zashallah didn't like when somebody would call their Rebbe by his first name. But that's the moment he went to the middle of Rebbe because he felt he felt that such a thing would never happen by the middle of the son of the Balatanya. I'll say, what's the big deal? He wanted to be ma'ayr of the crowd. Yeah, you're right. Relative to lower levels, it's not such a big deal. But he felt that this, there was something off about this. That's why in the world of Midas, the Nefesh of Bahamas has an achiza. Why? Because the world of Midas takes you away from the bittle and the oneness with Emmas. It brings a lakus into my Metzius. The moment it brings a lakus into my Metzius, now my Nefesh Abahamas woke up. My Nefesh Abahamas woke up. Okay. So now I could go away even from true Midas. I can go into false Midas. I can fake my inspiration just to impress the crowd. In the world of Meichen, in the world of Meichim, of this Achdus, of Etzem, you never step away from that truth. You never step away from infinity.